Nowhere else in the world you find such a density on cutting dicks as in the Middle East, who pretend to be the most religious persons in the world, while at the same time not respecting that same creation and their various gods, very much by cutting off a chunk of their dicks. Why they're in this region? Well, because these are the peoples nearest to our masters, the pharaohs, who practice this blasphemy towards the creator, thus creating the perfect slaves. Now look at that. It's pharaohs Egypt right in the middle of it all. I made a 20 minutes detailed medical and psychological analysis on this unholy practice on my channel Gure, but the entire channel was taken down a few days ago. So, if anyone downloaded that, please upload it again, because I don't have it anymore. By the way, I have no problems at all with the cutting dick slaves, neither with Jews nor with Muslims. I'm just a white, non-slave, homeless, without a number. Of whom the Muslims say that the white European man killed millions of Muslims, dropping bombs in Iraq, Afghanistan, Bosnia, Libya, Chechnya, etc. But wait a minute, I'm a homeless, and I don't pay any taxes to Pharaoh's army. But in fact, the millions of Muslims in Europe pay taxes to Pharaoh's army. And the Muslims of Europe pay for the guns, tanks, helicopters and ammo and pay for the death of their Muslim brethren far away. With the Muslims in Europe and their willingness to finance the wars against Islam, the costs of the anti-Islam wars are easily covered by the Muslims themselves. Because for the European Muslims, the choice between his fancy Mercedes or millions of murdered Muslims and their children is an easy one. He will choose his Mercedes, work and pay the taxes. Well, anyway, it's easier to blame the white man and the Jews for it all, eh? But white man goes on the streets and refuses to pay taxes against war. I've never seen a Muslim do this. He'd rather have Muslim children killed than to give up his Mercedes. Me, Sean Ross, the white homeless South African, prefer poverty on the streets than have the death of a single Muslim child in my conscience, or any child at all. I tell you, my Muslim brothers and sisters, you sold your souls to the devil, and you can't even blame the white man for it, but only yourself. Dear people of this earth, don't believe pharaohs, popes, imams, rabbis, pastors, priests, etc. Because they represent pharaoh and the devil himself. It's the same with the wall around Israel, which in fact was built by the Palestinians themselves. When pharaoh's state of Israel needed workers, physical labor and the bricklayers to do the work. All Palestinians. As Pharaoh's Israeli authorities apparently couldn't find a single Jew to do the work. Here again, my Muslim brothers, you did it yourself. So stop blaming the rest of the world for, your, for the self-inflicted misery. Because you, yourself, once again, you made the alliance with Pharaoh, the snake and Shaitan. Just as the Islamic State, also called Daesh, the Islamic State is a caliphate with an emir as their religious leader. And both an emir and a caliph are aristocratic titles of pharaoh, like a duke, a count or a marquis, and all cousins with each other, both the European nobility and the Arabic ones. So you can see they're one happy worldwide pharaonic family. You see, Arab aristocrats, um, Asian ones, their Prince Charles, the the Nazi Queen of the Netherlands, with his you know is also from Nazi, this the Bilderberg King here, and uh, so the Islamic Isis, the same as the Pharaonic Goddess, is less is led by the Arab Arabic nobility, 
based upon intel by the European nobility, like the Royal Tavistock Institute for Social Engineering, who analyzed that among young European Muslims there's this romantic idea of being a real man and warrior during those fantastic times of the Prophet. Instead of being harassed all the time by the cops in the outskirts or getting humiliated by some dumb white bitch secretary at some office of the authorities. So many good young Muslims full of hope took off for happiness, manhood and some more sincerity than the West could ever offer. But instead of that found themselves in some feudal dictatorship by the Caliph, Emir and Oriental nobility giving all the orders go and slit those people's throats of the entire village. If not, we'll cut yours. While the raping, as usual, was only done by the feudal nobility and their sons, like caliphs, emirs and the rest, well, the usual nobility practice worldwide. <coughs> Thus, back home in Europe, Pharaoh got rid of all the local young slaves with the seriously potential of insubordination towards Pharaoh's plans of a perfect human slave race, because a human being that is capable of dreaming is potentially very dangerous. Secondly, there was a geostrategical purpose for them in the Orient, petrol, because the Kurds in Kirkuk Iraq are sitting at one of the biggest oil reserves in the Middle East. And uh, because there's too much international goodwill in favor of the Kurds being the victims of uh, Saddam Hussein and the Turkish army, uh, Pharaoh couldn't just send the NATO, as usual, or the Russian army there to bomb the hell out of the Kurds, so it needed another solution and a whole new international army. The Islamic State by the international aristocratic mafia of Pharaoh. And here again, third example of Muslims inflicting death and terror upon themselves, without any Jew nor any white man in sight. Well, do you want me to give you more examples? I could, you know. But well, why should I chew it all out for you? And then fuck to taking down my channels and deleting hundreds of videos gone forever. I asked you to download them for years because I can't. I'm a homeless. Now they're gone and years of work for nothing. So you see, there is no YouTube at all. Because I never attacked the Jews in my videos, but rather showed how the Nazi Templars of Pharaoh with their Swiss base, were the ones behind the genocide on the Jews. With videos like Auschwitz made in Switzerland, Switzerland financed the Shoah, or Octogon rules over Pentagon, and now gone forever. Well, no Jew would have taken off those videos in their favor, eh? So there is no, and there never have been, any Jew tube. I had at least 32 hour historical documentaries on there on my channel Gure and a total of 350 videos all gone now. I wanted it to be my present for humanity and my children revealing the true enemy but due to the selfish state of humanity and the lack of mutual brotherly or sisterly love for one another helping each other out in rotten situation and acting in total collaborations these videos are gone forever now without our children's children in the inevitable total slavery of mankind being able to learn from them <laughs>